Buongiorno, buongiorno, my friends. Welcome to Rome. The Eternal City, a place where history, arts, and culture collide in a vibrant and chaotic masterpiece. For over 2,500 years, this city has been the center of civilization, a cradle of Western culture that has shaped the world we live in today. From the mighty Colosseum to the awe-inspiring Vatican City, Rome is a living museum, a city that has seen empires rise and fall and yet still stands proud and strong. Join us as we explore the heart of Italy, a city that has captured the imagination of millions and continues to inspire new generations with its timeless beauty and unparalleled spirit. Welcome to Rome. Welcome back to another video, guys, here on the Nomad Guides channel. And as you can tell behind me, we are in the beautiful city of Rome, Italy, one of the most well-known and historic cities in the world, and one many dream of their entire lives to visit. So as you can imagine, guys, in today's video, we're going to be sharing with you some of the best things you can do while you're exploring this place. Personally, I've spent about three days here with Mabel, and we've explored some of the best things to do, maybe some things you haven't heard of. And so you'll definitely want to stick around until the end of this video because the things are not in any order from best to worst. They're just simply how we have them set up to show you guys the beautiful city of Rome, Italy, and make sure you get the most of your experience. And I will say, guys, walking through these streets, like I like the vibe to um, Rome much, much more than Milan. Milan was like, okay, but it just feels like there's more personality in this city. Uh, it has this more like vibrancy to it. The, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Bella Ciao, let's jump right into the things to do. Number one on the list is to rent a golf cart to explore Villa Borghese Gardens, one of Rome's most beautiful parks. This vast park spans over 80 hectare acres. We've only been in here for like a couple minutes now, and we're at the very edge. That is how big these gardens are. And is filled with stunning gardens, fountains, museums, and sculptures. Now, there are many ways you can explore the park simply by foot, renting a bike, or like we did, which is what I'd consider the best way, grab yourself a golf cart. This will allow you to see everything at your own pace while enjoying the fresh air and beautiful scenery. Number two on the list is to visit the Vatican City. That's right, the Vatican, guys, the smallest country in the world. The Vatican is the spiritual leader of the Catholic church and a must-visit destination for anyone interested in history, art, and religion. Explore the Vatican museums, which house an impressive collection of arts and artifacts from around the world, including the stunning Sistine Chapel and St. Peter's Basilica. And the third thing to do is to explore the Roman cathedrals. Let me just tell you, there are thousands of cathedrals in Rome, and there are so many incredibly beautiful ones. That is one of the things that blew my mind in Rome is on any street you can find a cathedral walk in and see some of the most beautiful architecture because impressive cathedrals showcase beautiful artwork and rich history the intricate details of the building's facades explore the ornate interiors and learn about the fascinating stories behind each of these magnificent structures cathedrals to consider checking out include the Basilica di San Giovanni in Laterano the Santa Maria Maggiore and the Basilica di San Clemente. If you like this video of Italy, I've actually created a playbook which covers the best spots on Italy that cannot be found anywhere on YouTube. All you have to do is go down to the top link in the description, sign up for my newsletter, and it'll be yours in seconds. Number four is to visit the Colosseum, one of Rome's most iconic landmarks, and learn about its fascinating history as a site of gladiatorial games and public spectacles. The Colosseum is an ancient amphitheater that was built over 2,000 years ago and is considered one of the most impressive engineering feats of the ancient world. A wonder of the world did appear. From history books to movies, to real life. Take a guided tour to learn about its history or simply enjoy the breathtaking views of the surrounding city. One thing I'll mention though, guys, is there seems to be somewhat of a legal scam. Two spots for the offline. If they did not come, then you can join. And what happened to 20 minutes ago? You said, wait here, you have two spots for us. Did you sell them? No, they have offline. They already booked the offline on the, exactly on the website. They are waiting for two people. What Only happened they, to the two people that you just came over to come. me? Is it because they're offering you a higher price? Please, no, 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 no. To... don't have a space more. Well, why did you have us wait here for 45 minutes? These guys basically scammed us. They had us wait around for 45 minutes 
just to see if they could get a higher price than that, what they were offering us. And then all of a sudden, like there was like a hundred people there. And then the guy pretended he didn't even know us. He's like, oh, I'm not the ticket guy. I'm just passing it But honestly, you just need to buy your tickets in advance so you don't fall for these types of scams because you get them so much cheaper too. At least we got to see it from outside. Can say I've at least been to one of these uh, wonders of the world. Number five is to go to the Pantheon, an ancient temple that is now a church and one of Rome's most stunning architectural wonders. All right, so we're gonna see if we can get ourselves in the line. Where does it even start? This is the line? <laughs> It must be free to get in with a line this long. Stretches all the way back here, but it's going pretty quick, so. Because in the matter of about three minutes, we went from this side to this side. I mean, you can just look at this thing and see how long this thing has been around. The condition it is still in after however thousands of years. I'm sure they must have done at least a little bit of restoration. The largest unreinforced concrete dome in the world. And as you can see, this place has served many purposes, but uh, for many, many years now, it's actually been a basilica or a church. Make sure you learn about the fascinating history of this iconic structure while you're there. Number six is to visit the Trevi Fountain in one of Rome's most famous landmarks. This is the one where you uh, toss in the coins. Basically, if you throw in one coin, you'll come back to Rome. If you throw two coins, you're going to marry an attractive Italian. And if you throw three coins, you will marry the person that you met. But in order to achieve the desired effect, you need to take your right hand and toss it over your left shoulder. So, so somewhere in the depths of this fountain now lives our wishes. Number seven is to visit the Presepi di Netturbini, which is a unique and charming scene created by the garbage collectors of Rome. Now, this might not seem like something typical you would want to check out, but I was lucky enough to have my uncle show me this place that's a bit lesser known. This unusual attraction features hundreds of miniature figures, all crafted by the city's sanitation workers. The nativity scene is set up every year in the Piazza di Porta Campania and is a testament to the creativity and ingenuity of Rome's working class residents. And that square has been blessed by three popes and Mother Teresa. Wow. How the sky changes from, from day to night, the stars, That's beautiful. all the fires come out at dark. Number eight is to go to the Spanish Steps, one of Rome's most popular tourist destinations and take in the stunning views of the city from the top. The Spanish Steps are a grand staircase that dates back to the 18th century and is famous for its iconic fountain at the base. Climb to the top of the steps to enjoy panoramic views of the city and soak up the lively atmosphere of this bustling square. Number nine is to visit Castel Sant'Angelo, also known as the Mausoleum of Hadrian. It is an impressive fortress that dates back to ancient Roman times. The castle was later used as a papal residence and a prison and is now a museum that houses an impressive collection of art and artifacts. Explore the castle's stunning architecture and climb to the top of the terrace for panoramic views. And last but not least, number 10 is to visit the Cat Sanctuary Largo di Torre Argentina. The Cat Sanctuary is a unique and charming attraction in Rome. It is located in the ancient ruins where Julius Caesar was assassinated and it serves as a home for hundreds of stray cats that roam the streets of Rome. The sanctuary was founded in 1993 by a group of volunteers who wanted to help care for these cats and it has since become a popular destination for animal lovers around the world. Visitors can learn about the work being done to help care for the cats and even adopt one if they feel a connection. It is a great place to visit if you want to take a break from the hustle and bustle of the city and spend some time with these adorable feline residents. And so guys, that is our wrap up of visiting the beautiful city of Rome, Italy. Really hope you guys have enjoyed exploring with us all over the city today. And of course, if you want to check out more things to do both in Italy and specifically in Rome, you can head down to the links in the description below where you'll find specific additional activities and things you can book directly like the Colosseum and not fall into the trap that we did right away before you arrive and get ahead of it. So anyways, guys, I have other videos that I'll also put in the description about places like Lake Garda, Lake Como and so many other other places. So thank you guys so much and we'll see you in the next one.